Hey everyone, Christopher here from Themeco. Today we are going to talk about website performance when it comes to adding images on your website. The topics that we are going to cover are the image sizes and how you would decide the best image size for your page, the image extensions and which extension is the best one for the type of image that you want to use, and I'm going to show you guys how to compress your images to have a lightweight image. So when you add the image uh, on your page, it will be as fast as possible and load quickly. And finally, we are going to tackle some issues that might come up when you use a retina device. So let's delve into details and get started. Okay, I loaded an image into Photoshop. I'm going to use Photoshop for this video, but you can use whatever photo editing software that you want and familiar with. Uh, this image size is 4,000 uh, 4, pixels width and 2,200 pixels height, which is a very big image. And uh, the way that uh, this image is used, I think I will use that uh, in a hero section or a full screen slider so it will uh, take up the whole width of the uh, screen on a page but 4000 is uh, very big and too much and uh, it will slow down the website because it should uh, just load up all the uh, pixels and image and uh, as a matter of fact the width of the screens uh, will not go uh, that much big so uh, 1920 pixels for a hero image would be uh, good uh, image size and it is uh, too much big so let's make it smaller 9020 okay this is a better uh, size and we are going to uh, save this image using the export feature of Photoshop and now it comes to the decision on the image type now the width is 9, uh, uh, 1920 which uh, is a good size uh, and if I use the PNG format for the image it will be 4.2 megabytes the cap capacity of image which is uh, very high 4.2 megabytes is a waste of loading time for the website if I use the JPG format uh, it will change let's see it will drastically uh, smaller so it will be 2 megabytes usually use the JPG format if you have a photo or a photo of a nature or portrait or whatever uh, is a picture and a uh, photo but if you have a logo clip art and that sort of stuff use the png format or the svg format uh, the svg is a vector format and uh, is used uh, specifically for the clip arts logos and those type of uh, stuff so uh, for our image here the jpg is the best option to uh, go and you can uh, play with the quality and make it uh, just uh, uh, less than 100% if you want to make sure that the uh, size can be even smaller but it might uh, cause some degradation uh, of the image so I prefer to uh, just have it uh, into 100% quality so let's export this one Let's call it nature-1. Okay, the next step will be to compress the image. Now we have the correct size, the correct um, image type and extension. Now uh, it is time to compress the image. The compression feature uh, will not uh, just um, do anything with the quality so the quality will be the same but the capacity and uh, of the image will be uh, very low uh, i 
prefer to use the tinypng website tinypng.com but there are other services that you can use even there are softwares different softwares for mac and windows that you can use to compress the images uh, it depends uh, on you uh, on which service do you want to use i'm going to use this tiny png service so i'm going to upload this image so as you can see uh, now the capacity is 2.1 megabyte which is pretty big and let's see what will happen after the compressing of the image okay it is drastically smaller now it's 567 kilobytes 73 percent compression rate it's great so it is 73 percent smaller without changing the width and quality of the image so this is an important step that uh, you would take to make sure that your image is as compressed and as as uh, small as possible so let's download this image make it nature 2 for example okay great now let's load up the image into our content builder i have a content builder here uh, in pro and i'm going to use the image element to add the image okay the source option is the way to go and i'm going to upload the image that we've compressed just now okay insert into post great now uh, comes to the retina devices uh, as you can see here in the retina and dimensions options we have an eye drop icon and currently it shows that the width and height of the image is 960 to 528 but as you remember we had a 1920 as a width of the uh, image the way that uh, pro works is to make sure that the width of the image is cut to half it will make sure that uh, the image will show uh, crystal clear in the retina screens and this is how uh, we use the images to make sure they are uh, showing okay in retina screens if you think that um, your image can be used as a full screen one or bigger one try to make sure that you add a bigger image so uh, just always think of the width of the image that you want to use uh, on the screen and uh, multiply it by two double it uh, double the size to make sure that it will have a retina enabled uh, feature if i uh, disable this uh, icon it will show the original 920 a pixel image but it will not show uh, correctly in the retina screen and it will be uh, blurry so it depends on your uh, choice if you want to support retina screens or, or not and also it will have an impact on the uh, speed and uh, loading qu uh, quickly loading of the uh, page itself so if you want to have a super uh, fast one without the support of retina just disable the uh, icon but i icon but if you want to uh, make sure that you support the retina screens try to enable the icon and then make sure that you are going to um, save uh, the image with a bigger size so for uh, our case scenario it will be uh, double uh, the size of nine, 1920 now let's check uh, another image uh, this is another image uh, which i loaded up in photoshop uh, it is an svg image and svg is a vector based image and the difference uh, between svg and the png or JP jpg formats are that uh, it will not uh, be blurry or degrade if you uh, uh, if you just mm, use the image in a big way it's if it is very big 
for example, if I, I just loaded up the uh, SVG image, and as you can see, the image is crystal clear because it is a vector based one and it is used only for the logos or clip arts. Now, if I just zoom in, see how much I zoom the uh, just border of the uh, pro shows crispy clear and it does not degrade so this is how the SVG uh, format works and uh, depending on the way that you want to use uh, you can decide to have a PNG format for your logo or SVG format if you have a uh, need to add a big logo that it will not uh, degrade and uh, be blurry when uh, you want to show full screen or maybe in different uh, scenarios it will be better that you use the SVG format the PNG format is uh, just a little bit more lightweight so if I use the export feature here you will see the difference export export as so if I use the PNG format it will be about 29 kilobytes but if I use the SVG format it will be a little bit bigger so it will be 39 kilobytes but the difference is that uh, it will show crispy no matter how big the uh, logo is now i have a png format of the pro uh, logo and let me show you guys here just let's upload the png format and you will see the difference okay so uh, i added a png format with 500 uh, width and 562 height okay now uh, it is showing good and correctly and uh, the size is correct and the capacity is low so everything is good and dandy but if i just make it bigger so you will see that uh, it is not crispy anymore and it's blurry so it depending on the uh, usage you may ha want to have a big uh, with png format or maybe an svg format to use uh, another uh, point and challenge that we might have is that wordpress platform does not support svg format by default and out of the box and you would need to uh, use uh, plugins to add the support for uploading the SVG format. There are different plugins that you can use. I prefer to use the uh, safe SVG uh, plugin. The reason behind that is that uh, there is a culprit, uh, the uh, security issue when uh, it is possible to exploit the SVG format to uh do uh, malicious stuff so this plugin makes sure that uh, all the security related uh, stuff is uh, taken into consideration and you can install this plugin and uh, make sure that the uh, svg uploading feature will be available in wordpress the final point that i want to show you guys is that the svg is a vector format and actually it is possible to see the code behind the image so if i right click and select the inspect element in my uh, google chrome browser you would see that the svg is just like html and it is a format and you can just add different uh, stuff there so for example i just changed the field uh, attribute and the uh, uh, color of the logo just changed to black so uh, it is a 
intelligent way of adding images and uh, you can use different uh, animation features using such codes uh, many developers use uh, such features so it is another uh, good uh, feature of SVG format that you can use for logos for uh, fancy features the one culprit uh, the last one that I want to share with you guys is that the SVG format is not supported uh, very well uh, with the older browsers so there might be some bugs when the older browsers uh, try to render the SVG format so if you want to uh, have a big support for the legacy browsers uh, be aware that SVG format will not be a good idea and you may stick with the PNG format but if uh, you don't care about the old browsers and uh, you want to uh, enjoy the features of SVG uh, you can use that because it will be uh, sh it will show uh, correctly on the newer browsers so this is how uh, you guys can use the features of the image size compression and uh, image extensions to make sure that your website is as quick as possible and the performance is high and the loading uh, time is low thank you everyone and talk to you soon